Hey, I'm Sasha Neiman. Some of you might know me as Sarah. This is Myrtle. It's kind of comfortable to land. <sighs> but I'm here to talk to you about our forest here in Northern Michigan, especially at the CSA, and what I'm doing to try to help the trees. So we have an incredibly diverse and abundant forest here with many plants and animals and trees, especially, which we're really lucky to have. But we need to do our own part to ensure the safety and longevity of this forest. And right now we need to do our best to take care of the trees that are growing here. <clears throat> this is myrtle. And while it is cute, in a lot of ways, the myrtle is blocking the sunlight so that saplings that need to grow to fill in the holes in the forest canopy can no longer do so. They can't even get past the myrtle because the myrtle has taken over so much space. So as you can see, there's a lot of myrtle here, but myrtle really started off closer to the meeting house. That's where it was planted. But myrtle has a habit of creeping and crawling and keep on moving and moving until it spreads out to places around here. Now, at least in this part of the forest, even though there's some myrtle, as you can see, look at it crawling over here, there's some saplings. And the saplings are gonna be able to grow up, I mean, as long as they have enough light, and be healthy trees to replace the other ones for the fawn. But if you come in closer with me, in places like this where the myrtle is really dense, I mean, there are some places where saplings maybe could grow, but as you can see, not much is making it up. And we think that's because the myrtle is blocking their access to sunlight, making it impossible for them to grow and get nutrients. So I'm doing a study in which I went to four different areas around the CSA and I laid out plots along a 100 meter transect. So I would lay out this piping, one by one meter piping, and I put it down and I took pictures of it in order to determine what percent of each plot was covered by myrtle. And I also took pictures of the light from right above the plot to determine what percentage of light penetration was coming in in that plot. And then use those pictures, the plots of myrtle, in order to determine what are the saplings that are present there and what is the impact that myrtle is having on the growth of those saplings? Is it the case that if there's a dense amount of myrtle within a plot, the saplings aren't able to grow through it and get access to the sunlight that they need to grow up? We hypothesize that a lot of myrtle in one area will interfere with the growth of saplings. And once we have that data analyzed, we'll use that information to educate the community and basically give everybody an opportunity to help out with what we're doing here, which may mean something like checking to make sure where your myrtle ends on your property and not letting it spread any further so the trees can have a good shot at growing up. For a reforestation site here on Olive Netherwoods Ave, we have three trees that we're gonna be adding to this um, because there are two big ones cut out here and there's just space there to add something and a lot of room to grow. So before we plant the trees, we wanted to clear out this myrtle and remove as much of it as possible for the benefit of the new trees that we're planting. Um, and we just did this by trimming back the myrtle with a string trimmer and then raking as much as we could out. And in addition to what we've done, as you can see here, right before we plant the trees, we're also gonna dig up the soil, add what is called biochar um, and compost, re-situate all the soil, and then put the tree in. In addition to that, we're also going to be covering the, the forest floor with cardboard and adding mulch on top of that. And our hope is that the myrtle won't be receiving any sunlight because of the cardboard and will just die off in this area and the roots will also die so that the roots of the trees have the best um, access to all of the nutrients and won't have to compete with something pesky like this myrtle. <laughs> 